The way things go is not inevitable. We shape the future. We have built these tools, and it's up to us to use them correctly. Reasoning is not magic. Genuinely intelligent systems are coming. We've already seen the beginnings of them. It turns out the bar is incredibly low. We'll anthropomorphize almost anything. That is the, <laughs> what, the species, what the species <laughs> does. In, in, in robot land, uh, once a self-driving car makes a mistake, no other car would ever make the same mistake, including all the future unborn cars. And that means the learning speed of machines is fundamentally faster than the learning speed of people. Every job I've ever had as an engineer in some respect is to replace labor. We're now about to do it incredibly well, and we're not thinking about the consequences. A lot of jobs really have what I'd call an interpersonal or human component. Nobody wants to go to an undertaker who goes, I am so sorry for your loss. You know, it's a robot. Hardware and design can be an artful medium. It can be a form of expression. It could be something where you're not trying to make something because you think there's a market size of, you know, a half a million consumers who will buy it. You can just make something because it seems cool and you can move on. But I've got this right here in my Soho factory, and it's a doorbell line with a stenciler and a pick and place and a board loader and oven. And, and yeah, I'm able to design and manufacture uh, five seconds apart. For an industrial company, when, you, when, I, when I say industrial, I'm talking about railroads, airlines, uh, people that make engines and gas turbines like us. If we don't grab this next wave of the information age, we're not going to be able to generate the kind of productivity that, re that is required to be uh, uh, competitive. Businesses constantly tell you, we can't find the right people with the right skills, and yet we know there's people looking for work. So there's something about our labor markets that doesn't work very well. In creating any marketplace business, you really have to think about the balance of the expectations, in our case, of the client and the consumer, and then the needs of the supplier and the tasker. And you have to find a way to balance those two things and have them meet in the middle. Otherwise, the market doesn't meet and you don't, you don't have a marketplace business. We are people, right? And that we need um, like consideration and communication with our employers um, to make working feasible, um, to make it bearable, um, and to make it like a healthy relationship between the employer and the employee.